So from reading a lot of your comments, some of you don't know how to download CC or custom content for your Sims game, nor do some of you know where to look for it, so I thought I'd just make a quick video on how to do that. There are lots of places you can download CC from, the main ones being The Sims Resource, Mod The Sims, and Simsdom, which I think is now called Sims Finds, and there is a bit of controversy about this site and it's still in content, so it is up to you if you want to use it. There are also a lot of Tumblrs and personal Patreon pages that these link through to anyway, and you can just find them there to begin with. I've linked some of the personal places I use in the description so you can find them there. There are also some that compile finds for you, so Maxis Match CC, which is content that matches the Sims cartoony style. There's Maxis Match Sims CC World, and for others they usually have a mix of both, both Maxis Match and Alpha, which is more realistic CC. There's Emily CC Finds, and any others I go to again I'll link down below. There's a bit of a difference between CC and mods, so CC is clothes, skin overlays and furniture, that kind of thing. But mods will change your game in some way, so something as simple as removing the mosaic from the sims when they use the shower, that's a mod. Though some go way further. There's ones that bring more realism to your game, like Slice of Life, and MC Command Center which basically gives you more control over everything, and most people can't play without it. These are mostly found on their own pages, so a Google search will usually find them. We have a community post that asks which mods you can't live without, so I'll link that too and in the comments maybe you'll find one that you like the sound of, and then you can find them that way. But once you've found some CC you want to download, you usually have to find this button here that says download. Others have an inbuilt timer in the page, just so they can make some money while you look at some ads, like the Sims resource, but I mostly like to download directly from Patreons and things because these usually just straight up download. Sims File Share is a site you might be taken to, this is safe, it's just a file hosting website made specifically for Sims content, and you just click this button and it should download. Once you've got the file, it should be a package file, or sometimes if it's a few files together it'll need to be uncompressed. But once you've got your package files, open up your documents and find the file called Electronic Arts. Open it to here, and The Sims automatically creates this mods folder for you when it installs, and you can just drop your files in here, but be aware that you need to keep this resource.cfg file in order for the mods and CC to show up in your game. So I like to create a separate file that I've also called mods, and I've put them in there. I think the game will only search one layer deep for mods, but other than that you can separate them how you want, either by type, or by creator, or however you want. Or you can just do what I do and put them all in that folder and forget about how messy it is and how I can't find anything. But there, they should be in your game. And if you encounter this problem with the weird question marks on it and the half red person, then it usually means you haven't got the mesh for the object you downloaded. It usually happens when a creator has used someone else's CC and recolored it or retextured it. So if you find where you got it from originally, they should link you back to the original creation and then you'll have to also have the original one in your game in order to make both of them work. I hope that helps, if you have any more questions or comments or anything then please don't hesitate to ask in the comments down below and if you have nothing to say then put a little purple heart. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.